my name is JD Anker. I am the PYT dance teacher, and this is. I'm Bara, and I'm like the assistant. Yes, yes. So, so, so tell me about the dances you guys are doing with the kids. Sure. Well, let's see. Where to begin? Um, because my background is is not with one specific kind of dance, with many different kinds of dances, and. Um, and because that's what I did as a, a young person growing up, I have thrown in lots of different kinds of dances along with Bara. So we have done our theater dances, everything, things from Oliver to today we're gonna do Time Warp, maybe, hopefully, from Rocky Horror. And uh, so those are just an example of some theater, sh theater dances. We've done a little hip hop, we've done a little bit of ballet. Um, of course, because this is Bara's exper expertise, we've thrown in some tap, some step. Yeah, some minor. <laughs> Minor, but still important. Um, so just to give the kids a, a good example, at least a little bit of the many different kinds of dances that are out there. And how did the dancers help the kids grow? Well, that's a big question, I think. But um, for me growing up, well, dance is about control. And I'm always saying this. It's about controlling your body and isolating different movements. And um, so I think that teaching kids that at a young age helps them to learn about their body and about their physical abilities. And um, I think that's priceless when you get older. And I, I mean, for anything from needing to be in a wedding dance to wanting to be a professional dancer to, to going to a school dance to not knocking over your beer glass or water glass. Uh, either way, I think controlling your body uh, is a really important thing for people. Okay, to so tell me, what are the challenges that you and the kids have faced during the rehearsals of the dancers? Well, I think that like a very big challenge for us was to actually get them to concentrate on the dancing and to try and learn the dances. And not actually just have fun, although we like to have fun, it can't be the only thing we do, we will do games and stuff, but it's important, like she said, to concentrate on choreographing actual dances, uh, which has been sometimes a challenge, depends on the week. And how did you overcome the challenge? I over, how did we overcome the challenges? Uh, well, I, I think one of the important things is having a dance that's a good proper for the age, proper for the, the kids that have to like the song, and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, just for them, it, it, for the dance to be interesting for them so that they like to learn it. Mm -hmm. Not too hard, not too easy, yeah, yeah, but, but we're getting better at figuring that out. I hope and I think. All right, thank you guys for your time and do you guys want to say anything to the audience? Uh, go PYT dance. That's all I got. All right.